Photo P may be a great help in editing GIFs or GIFs. Simply drag and drop one to this area and it will load. On the right side in the layer panel, you will see there are so many layers and they are rather similar. It's simply your GIF split it into frames. So each layer is one frame. I got around 100. 167 to be more specific frames and now I can easily modify them. Keep in mind, usually you need to modify more than one layer. So simply turn on the visibility of the layer you want to modify by clicking on this area here. Then you can use any tool you need. There are so many tools for photo editing, right? We will not cover that here. So grab the tool you think you need and then you can make changes to this certain layer. Next, I can make changes to this layer as well. All right, and move to the next one. And this way we are modifying the GIF. You could, of course, kick out some layer. You can delete a layer just by clicking on it and then this delete trash bin icon or you can even join combine two gifs together by adding new frames just be sure that each frame starts from underscore a underscore that indicate animation all right so that's how you can make changes in your gifs and let's try to save it back as a GIF, let's try out that it will animate with our changes or no. To do that, head to File and search for Export. From here, we need to select .gif GIF, and we will be able to see the preview. Here it is. As you can see, now the GIF is playing here in the preview. And you may notice there's a bit of extra eyebrows going on in the last five frames because I draw them with the brush tool. I can modify the quality. I can change the speed to be faster or slower. I can reverse those frames. Or we can even add a boomerang effect to it. So we'll go to the end and then back to the beginning. So let's try both. And this way we manage to modify existing GIF, adding our own brush drawings on it and also changing the order of the frames. Now we got the boomerang effect on it and it's a bit slower than the original. I simply click save. And in that moment it will be saved on your machine. You can find it in your downloads folder, the same folder that all of the stuff that you download from the internet goes. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next Photopea tutorial.